All right, Featherbed roll call. Guys, Featherbed roll call. Fe no. Featherbed roll. Okay. Okay, let's go. You all. <laughs> <laughs> I asked for one thing. I changed your guys' lives. You can't even do the Featherman roll call. I almost forgot who was who. Uh, so, from what I remember, I know... I Is he... Is Joker Feather Hawk? Um... No. In, um... In the Persona Dancing games, at least five... For certain, like you get to uh, equip the helmets as like a separate piece, and it tells you what bird's there. Because um, I know, I I think Makoro's feather swan. Uh huh. Indeed. Or is he feather condor? I don't know. Yes. Yeah, like this is gonna oh, bug me, so I'm gonna look it up. Show me your true form. Hiding something from us? Doesn't look like you need to go for a weakness. Persona. Uh. All right, she has the Batmobile now. No weaknesses. Well, Any luck there, friend? Yes. Cool. Next target. Oh, it's just that it's giving everybody from the Persona series. Oh. I have to go through like, uh, like Yori, Kanji. Yeah. Oh God damn! I forgot this second half of the. Show me your true form. Palace. Surprise! Persona. You can go for it. Go down. Knock them right off their feet. Let's go. Nice, Joker. Ravage them. Nice. Joker took one out. Don't move. Let's go. Okay. Uh, red hawk, black condor, yellow owl, blue swallow, white swan. Uh, okay, yeah. Okay, yeah. You were right. Personified dancing actually gives the names of each bird. Red wants costumes. Uh, so Goro and Kasumi, since the former was All DLC right. and didn't receive a Featherman costume, a complete victory. and the later didn't exist now yet, Joker going. is Feather Du. Duka. Yeah. Morgana's feather rock hopper. Ryuji's feather ostrich. An is feather on there. Yusuke is Yusuke is feather pheasant. Makoto was feathered bald eagle. Futaba is feather toucan. Haru is feather cockatoo. This is blowing my mind. Even though I've played Persona 5 Dancing and I have the, uh, the DLC <laughs> Feather for it. is like, uh, Kasumi might be, uh, or Sumeri might be Swan. Also, it's Duka. I don't know. Look it up. No, no, no. That's legit what oh, the guy is that what asked it says? for. <laughs> he, he's like, what's a Duka? <laughs> I'm cool. All right. After this, I'm going to go up. take a Duka. What's a douche? No, what's a Duka? <laughs> Not a Dookie, a Duka. <laughs> Um, a duka or a duka is known as a duga as a blend of nuts. Huh? I don't think that was right. <laughs> I don't think they knew what they were talking about. Did you spell it right? Yes. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Son of a bitch, I'm gonna figure this I'll out. Your true form. <laughs> Less skills will work here. The enemy is weak. The short will knock them right off their feet. Nice, Joker. Phoenix Rangers said that they are. I think that's who they are. Okay. Does the R stand for Royale? Okay, okay, so, oh, starting Persona 2 Innocent Sin. Oh, okay. Good work, everyone. 
That's neat. Okay. Oh, there's so many puzzles in this area. Yeah. Oh, I don't like it. Oh. Okay. Okay, here we go. Show me your true form. <laughs> so let's start with this perspective. Uh, Persona 2, let me see the same. Tatsuya uh, is Red Hawk. Ikichi is Yellow Owl. Lisa is Pink Argus. Maya is Blue Swan. And John is Black Pondo. Actually, hey, those uh, those are the... Uh, Tatsuya and Maya are the pen names they choose in uh, the... Uh, the name, the game that uh, the Timeless plays and... Uh, Persona 3 FPS when it makes the oh. game different. Uh, also, if everybody's wondering about Persona 3 FPS, it's really okay to do a hand. You need to do a hand. Oh. Why am I hitting you with physical attacks when you're resisting? Okay, in Persona 4 Golden, the protagonist is Feather Hawk Red. Mm hmm. Yosuke is Feather Owl. Okay. Chie is Feather Parakeet. Mm -hmm. Yukiko is Feather Argus. Kanji is Feather Falcon. Nato is Feather Swan. And Teddy is Feather Horned Owl. Okay. Everyone. Oh no. It doesn't say here. Okay. What? It doesn't say. What? Ah! What does it not the, say? Their names from the royal. Oh. Son of a bitch. <laughs> I will fight you. You'll be fine. I'll never be fine. You'll be okay. Probably. Also, I've never said Persona 3. Okay, I thought I got hit there for a second. Although, I'm a little jealous, though. Why? Of the other feather, because some of them have capes. Oh, really? Yeah. I think we could make it angry. I mean, technically speaking, canonically speaking, uh... In the Persona for Arena Ultimax, Yukari actually is in a Featherman outfit. Mm, she okay. is an actress who plays Feather, uh, Feather, uh, Pink Argus. Oh, okay, cool. Well, they're mimicking the dolls, right? Yeah. So if I were to figure out the doll things. <laughs> I like you're still trying to figure this all out. Go down. Yeah. Uh, so they've all been the same. Uh huh. Maybe, maybe I look at the dancing, but then again, I think we won't get an answer for Sumeri and Bro. All right, Akechi. Probably not. Okay. I have something. I still can't believe Ryuji is not a chicken. He looks like a chicken. Well, in this one, it says they're an Jumper. owl. Yellow owl. I don't see that. <laughs> oh no, a locked door. Punch it! Is the answer pancakes? Hey, what did he lose in exchange for, for real? Power? Mm. Oh, I remember this one, but I think if we answer it, it's gonna be uh, a little spoiler. Oh, right, the dialogue go. I was talking about was unused dialogue. Really? Joker. Yeah. I can see it. But why? Oh, this one.
You're not gonna find him. Right. Shut up! Hmm. <sighs> that was fast. <gasps> okay, I thought the door was locked for a second. Excellent. It's a treasure chest. I don't care. That door's locked, okay. Oh, leave me alone. Bye. God, I hate the second half of this palace. Okay. Uh. Focus. You find any answers yet? Show me your true form. Yeah, so all of them consistently say that the red one is always Featherman Eagle. Okay. Uh, Red Eagle, Green Swan, Yellow Owl, Pink Argus, Black Falcon. Uh -huh. Actually, I think it might be a pigeon. Really? Uh, it says Great Pigeon. He's supposed to be the sixth ever one. I would have never guessed pigeon from looking at him. Whoa! Oh, well, since we're past the spoiler territory, if you play that game, it plays out like a catchy scene. What do you mean? I played it. I, I have played it because I was like, oh, a Featherman game. I'm going to play it because I love the concept of Featherman. Yeah. Okay. So basically, this Featherman you're playing as is supposed to help out the other Featherman, and he's doing his own thing until he meets the real Featherman. Oh. And then they're like, oh, you were actually constructed to be a bad guy. You were like meant to destroy the featherman so in the last stitch effort um feather uh, the great pigeon gives up his life room. for the team the entire oh, palace has been and dies bizarre, a true featherman but this room That's is cool. rather strange in its own way crt tv huh talk about old school look it's even got a built-in vcr so i was playing the pt hmm. video <laughs> maybe we've got to watch some tv first i highly doubt that Actually, there's a chance he's right. There appears to be a tape by the VCR. Well, it appears we don't have any choice but to watch the tape, do we? Of course, it could possibly just be a trap. Let's watch it. What are they going to do? Put Nothing's curse on the tape? Happening. It's making some strange noises. Could it be broken? Oh God, it is the do curse you think we tape. should try whacking it? Uh, please don't. Oh, it's playing. Stay on guard, everyone. How are you feeling today, Rumi? Sorry I came empty-handed. I've just been so busy with the research lately. I haven't had the chance to pick up any part-time work. I know. I'll buy you flowers the next time I come. Do you remember that wildflower field we used to go to back in high school? You really loved it there, didn't you? Oh, would you prefer if I brought you some snacks instead? Which should I bring? Sweet or salty? I know you like both, so... Actually, I have some news for you today. So first, I've finished my paper. The other thing is... He caught the culprit. He's in police custody now. You don't need to worry anymore. <sighs> of course, that doesn't mean everything's over and done with, but things are going to proceed as they ought to. <sighs> My cognitive science is the study of people's hearts and how they guide people's views of the world. Everyone comprehends the world in a different way, depending on their cognition. So basically, if one could tap into a person's cognitive world, one would even be able to alter how that person views reality in every way. That's what my paper is all about. <laughs> Here I am, going way over your head with this stuff, just like always. <sighs> but anyway, 
I've recently met someone who thinks my research could be fruitful. If everything moves forward as planned, they may even fund my work. At that point, I'd be the first professional scientist in the world. My goal is to find a way to stop crime by putting my research into action. Many of the criminals in this world are deluded to the point of seeing everything through a distorted lens. If I could change their cognitions, it would stop them from committing crimes before they even considered them. And if I were to succeed, the things that happened to you would never happen to anyone else again. <sighs> I want to save you. No, not just you. I want to save the whole world with my cognitive science. Well, at least I know your family would appreciate it. Tak, to... Rumi, it's me. Are you alright? Can you talk? Tak, to... family... <sighs> My family... Dad... Mom... No... Please... Please don't go! <sighs> Rumi... Rumi, it's okay. Calm down. Give them back! Give me my mom and dad! Uh, you want an hour. These migraines are... Damn it! Don't worry, someone's coming to help. I believe it was most likely a post-traumatic episode. Memories of the incident must have resurfaced due to some sort of stimuli, like certain imagery or phrasing. Phrasing? I'm so sorry, Rumi. It's all my fault. Deep down, I knew I could end all crime across the world. It still wouldn't bring your family back. What you truly need is to be set free from that horrible tragedy. But... How can I do that? Must seek me. <sighs> what? What was that? Takuto, please stop this. I want to forget. Forget? <sighs> I wish I could do something to... Oh. But wait, by altering a subject's cognition, by changing their heart, any related trauma is eliminated. You must seek me. So, by that logic, all that pain, Rumi's trauma and everyone else's, it can be undone. Seek me. I am that who manifests thought himself. I shall echo your blasphemous fury with reality, so that we may together change the world. Now, call me forth. Yes. I'll do it. I don't care who you may be. Lend me your strength. Please, help me save Rumi's life. What was that? Rumi, are you okay? Who... Who are you? Rumi, it's me! Um, I'm really sorry, but I don't know who you are. Rumi, what do you mean? I've just gone through surgery. Ever since I was born, I've been unwell. I lost my parents when I was young. So I live with my grandparents in the countryside now. When you were... young? You can't. It's me, Rumi. Don't you remember me? Um, I really am sorry, but I have no idea what you're talking about. Well, I'm going to be discharged from here pretty soon, now that I've finished my last round of surgery. I can't wait to see my grandparents again, and show them how well I've recovered. This is... Were her memories actually revised? Wait, was that voice really... Um... Are you alright? That's absurd. How could something like... Oh, I mean... 
It's nothing. I'm just glad you're doing better now. She remembers nothing of the incident. So, Farumi... By the way, what are you doing in my room? How do you know my name? Oh, well, I'm, uh... Sorry. I mistook you for someone else. Another person? Yeah. My... my girlfriend's name is Rumi, too. Really? That's so nice to hear. Yeah. Huh? Looks like I really messed up finding the right room. I really am sorry to disturb you. Um, so I know this might sound odd, but if you'd like to meet again sometime... Thank you for the offer, but... I'm sorry. I'm going to be getting busier than ever soon, so I don't believe we'll be meeting again. Really? But what about your girlfriend? She's... passed away. That's why I won't be coming here anymore. Oh, I'm so sorry. Um... I hope you feel better soon. And I know the people who care about you wish the same. That was... Dr. Maruki, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was. Based on what we've seen, we can surmise that Dr. Maruki's memory was somehow on that videotape. The way that woman was acting at the end, that's just how it went for me, too. So he rewrote her cognition. Considering what he was saying in the video, that might have been the moment he first awakened to his ability. Could Dr. Maruki possibly have wanted us to watch this memory? Um, I don't think that's the case. It's possible that this is just an old memory he tried to bury in his unconscious mind. Still, if this actually occurred, there's no mistaking it for a trivial memory. This is clearly important to Maruki. Whether for good or bad, it appears that this incident is what led Dr. Maruki to his current mission. You're right. Oh, the cutscene's over. Cool. Almost fell asleep there. Same. <laughs> Feather Squad, roll out. Show me your true form. <laughs> you should have to give away a position. <laughs> hey, Joe. What? Let's go. No. Give it over. Stop it. Come here. There. Finally. Nice. There we go. I didn't do shit. Oh, oh, Showtime attack. I do want to see uh, some area Showtime. No, I don't want your power. <laughs> I didn't actually want you. It has titty drawn on this little monitor thingy. What? They had titties on it. I don't believe you. I know it's probably just like a giant, but the giant like I had titties. Oh. <laughs> okay. That's this now. Hold on. Oh. That pretty has twelve nipples. <laughs> Somewhere. Holy crap! This place is full of enemies. Yeah. What did he lose in exchange for power? Mm. The goddamn thing. He's been a fucking wuss. Uh, his lover. <sighs> Any day now. Come on. Jeez. Oh yeah. What are you being nailed in? You did all the work. Ugh. <laughs> Maruki, why is it your shit work? Oh, a map. Oh. There's a part coming up. Oh. For real? I know exactly what part it is. Yep. Oh? You have to go find uh, an answer for a puzzle. What the hell? Yep. And I got lost for like three hours. No, no, I know. <laughs> Do you have a moment? 
I was so close to the like agree with the catchy. <laughs> crazy man right now. Fuck, we look so good in these Featherman outfits. <laughs> I'm sorry. Hmm. Like I'm so tempted to have a. Uh, uh, what what will we need this for? What will we need these outfits for, or something similar? To that. Like I want to. I'm tempted to have someone make custom Sentai outfits for us. I don't know. That's suspicious. That'd be cool. But wait, but the thing is, though, like usually Sentai is a team of five. Yeah. I was thinking more rider outfits since it's usually like. A rider, secondary rider, and a third rider. Mm -hmm. You know, for most of them. So I, we can get away with that. So I want someone to make custom rider outfits for us. Right. But I wouldn't know like looks... the motif you would like. I've shown you a few different variations of them. Mm -hmm. Roger. Like, I wouldn't know what would be like your thing. Like you like the knights and the dragons and the whatnot. There's this guy that does art who kind of mixed. Like knight armor with like a uh, common rider type stuff. Like, it's just what he does. But I don't remember his queer. Well, I don't think I don't think because like some of them don't do commissions. Yeah. They used to do it just for like shit to do. Well, so. like he he captured this, like a very similar style to like what I like. The common rider saber is very close to what you like. Uh. Okay. Ow! He doesn't have a weakness, but I think we can make it angry. Oh. Wait, yeah, let's see if we can get a short time attack. And then we'll just escape. Anyone wait to this? No, I don't think so. Cool. Why? Us? Okay, cool, Joker. Uh, stop it. Uh, if you get a chance, you might want to heal up. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> oh, sweet. Shall we? That was amazing. <laughs> that was cool. What? The featherbed outfit took me out for a moment. No, I love every second of it. That was amazing. God, it just, if this didn't put, they like, push the fanfic and the, the relationship thing. I mean, I'm pretty sure if we were like with like Haru, or, like Makoto, then like Joker. What was that? Yeah. Of the no. Oh, it's a treasure Showtime chest! Showtime attack! What should we do with it? Everyone got one, you got one with, with, with Ryuji, I didn't say anything. <laughs> no, she was clearly all up on you! Like, what the fuck was that? Hey, babe, I, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> it's a Showtime attack. I'm not the one that thought of it. <laughs> but it does fit though, since in this uh, universe we are together. Yeah. Me and you. Said no. <laughs> <laughs> so close, so close. <laughs> well, I, 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 was, I caught, I, I, I got Robert to slip up because he was tired. <laughs> and he was like, "No, oh, Frank, come back, I love you." I was like, "What?" And he's like, "Ah, oh, shit." <laughs> I was like, "No, I didn't say it. Shut up, fight." <laughs> Fuck you. Oh, so fuck you, Ketchy. So what the hell, man? I'd like to see your persona get cool skills. Oh, wait, you can only use two. You prick. <laughs> oh, this is exactly the area. I see the staircase. Mm hmm. Uh. I have something. Oh, do you? Yeah, do you have the answers? You. You didn't. Uh. What the hell were we talking? Were we talking about anything important? Because uh, like, we just got taken out of the whole like the, no. the, the, the short time attack. Um, I kind of want to see that attack and when she's dressed up as Rin. 
Oh, that'd be great. Fran, do you remember how to do this? Uh. Is it right here? It is, okay. Whew. I was just saying, like, I believe it's that door. I'm not 100% sure. Joker! Let's get Feather Chicken Head over here. Hey, come here. <laughs> we use you as a battering ram. <laughs> okay. Get the yes. way around. Okay. Okay. So, given how the you you're aware of the each like persona is like main group of people, right? Yeah. So, if we could estimate, what do you think would like? Who do you think would be the next persona? Again? Like, what do you think? Like the big like. So, as you, you can see, like you have like the the bad like. Like the, the troublemaker. Mm -hmm. So in Persona, that's Persona 3 would be Yori. Yeah. Persona 4 would be Kanji. Uh, and this one would be Ryuji. Ryuji yeah. And then you have the cool calculated, like, beat me up uh, girlfriend, uh, which would be like. And now it would be. Oh, what's her name? Damn it. And three, yeah, she has the red ponytail. Uh, She's part of the Kirijo group. Right. It's her. Mm -hmm. And if it's all four, I would have to say it'd be Nato. Right. Okay. And then in this one, it's Makoto. Mm -hmm. A good battle. I can feel. Then it. you have the like the super like nav. So in three, it's Fuka. Show and in four, it's Rise. And this one is Futaba. And they're not, they're, all their personalities are a little bit different. Yeah. Except for Futaba and Fuka. They're kind of the same. They yeah, they're like similar. messing around. Like technologies and stuff and whatnot. Uh -huh. And then, in, I want to say there's, the protagonist is just a given. Yeah. It's the cool one. Yeah. And then there's, Hmm. Yeah, I remember, like the main like And then I guess there's also like the best friend to like the protagonist like the main like three with him. Yeah. Which is in three I wanna say I wouldn't say I wouldn't know who will be in three. But in 4, it's Yosuke. And this one's also Ryuji. Yeah, he kind of doubles. Yeah, he doubles, so it's... It looks so good in the outfit. Yeah. So I guess it'd be kind of hard to say. So I'm going to double. Hmm. Right. And then you get the super, like, athletic, sporty kind of thing going on, too, which still is Ryuji. Mm -hmm. And three, it's uh, Akihiko, because he's the boxer. He kind of yeah, likes to beat, beat stuff up. And then four, okay. it's Chie. Chie likes to, like, roundhouse kick everything. <laughs> She's like the kung fu. Yeah, I mean, you see me play as Akihiko and Chie. Yeah. You're like, your I don't agree with what you were doing, but yeah. <laughs> and Vanessa. Oh, yeah. That skull and snake was like your generic 50 cent little stick on tattoo. It's very old school tattoo, yeah. Like American traditional old school tattoo. And then you have like the animal like companion nest kind of thing. So do you have uh, what was his name? The dog? Yeah. I don't remember. Konamaru? Konamaru? Is that Konamaru? Okay. I think so. Leave the noobs and let's go. And then it's Teddy, and then in the other one it's uh, in this one it's uh, Morgana. Yeah. Like I'm not going by Arcana because because oh. those are the, all over the place. Yeah, the magician Arcana in three is just some random asshole. Yeah. Uh, is this the Will Seed? Yes. Oh, cool. Okay, and that one it's just like some random ass hat. And four, it's Yosuke, and in this one it's Morgana. Morgana's yeah. the uh, 
is the magician arcana so we're not really gonna go based off of that <laughs> yeah like and you can't even trust the justice one because it's chihiro oh. in three it's nanako and four and it's a catchy in this one uh -huh. so it's kind of hard to tell but i feel like we already have like a few that's already standing out yeah the smart one yeah like the more like analytical one the like the goofball comedic relief yes i mean who, who knows they can do a complete 180 and just like not do that yeah but well, here's robert with the weather shut up i told you to check the weather oh you did i, I didn't <laughs> check the weather <laughs> yeah you know that door took me two hours to figure out that it was there <laughs> Yeah. I hate this area. What did you send me? Where did I send you? Damn it! Just hearing it from you is pissing me off. Oh look, it's Dante. You've come so far. What problem could they possibly have now? I tried negotiating in person with the professor and the investors, but they simply wouldn't listen. Due to the lack of concrete evidence, all further research and funding in the field of cognitive science will cease. <sighs> they told me it's already over and done with. But why now, of all times? When they first saw my paper, they were positively beaming with excitement! In the research lab in Odaiba? They're not going through with that anymore? Yep. <sighs> Damn it. To hell with their concrete evidence! How are we supposed to get any evidence if we can't perform the research first? If we can change the cognition of trauma victims, their suffering can be eliminated. Who knows how many people could be saved with this research? How much more obvious could its benefits be? So, do you really think the lack of evidence is the reason they shut it all down? <sighs> it makes absolutely no sense to me. After all the time and money spent, to just cut off my research because it wasn't all proven sound immediately. Even if that was the result of some kind of conspiracy, what could I do about it? It's not like I have any proof. I see. So, what are you gonna do now? The sponsors have backed out, so I doubt the college is gonna let you keep using their labs. I'm done with that college. They have nothing for me at this point. I'll look for work elsewhere while I keep fleshing out that research paper. Eventually, I'll prove the existence of the cognitive world. Once I've done that, no one will be able to complain. Rumi, I swear I'm going to do it. I have the power now. It cost me my life with you. So I'm going to rescue everyone from their pain. I don't care how long it takes me. It's going to happen. That was another of Dr. Maruki's memories? Yes, I believe so. Seemed to be a much more recent memory than the first one we saw, though. His research was cut off. So after the incident with his girlfriend, he progressed in his research to harness cognitive science as a healing practice. However, his research was shut down, and his career along with it. All he had left was his resolve to prove his research valid, then use it to save people. That seems to be the message delivered by the videos we found. It must have been his dream. To use his research to save people here. If that sounds good to you, would you prefer we just turn around and go home? That isn't an option. Yeah, what she says. If anything, we've got to pull out all the stops to win this one. Well, the vote was unanimous. Where do I go now? I can feel it. Straight to hell, you heathen. Oh. <laughs> well, my feelings right. are hurt. Don't worry, you regenerate at a faster rate than anyone else. Maybe do that door you haven't gone through yet? Shut your mouth. Then make me. Oh, uh. Wow! Jeez! Um. I fucking hate Maruki's palace. This is 
like the first time I went through this palace, I wanted to cry. So how con like convoluted it gets <laughs> later on. Like right after this area, it gets stupid. <laughs> you know exactly what's coming up, and I hate. Oh, it. oh, I know, I know. It's oh, I can already see how many times we're gonna have to pause. <laughs> mm, I fucking hate this palace. It's somewhere. So much. <laughs> I'm not gonna fight any of you. I'm just gonna go open this door. Kiss my ass. <laughs> uh, what was missing that caused uh... evidence? Cool. Because I didn't pay attention to the tape. Oh, cool. Neither did I. Yes! It's not immediately after this part. I think I know. Is it? Seasonal. No, I think I know what's coming up. These hands. You shut your mouth. Oh, isn't it that one thing where you have to go through different little things yeah, and choose the right answer? Makes you choose the... Yeah. This one's not so bad. Yeah, the Psyche Val. Or not Psyche Val, but whatever. Hmm. Uh oh. Robert's dog is getting all riled up. He's about to go in attack mode. Excellent argument. Argument. However, your mother. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking love that. I see. There's a. Si uh huh. Not a photo. <laughs> All right. Why are you confused? These hands. Sorry, I don't know why I said that. Uh huh. Hmm. Uh huh. Hmm. I'm not crazy. Well. Exam room, three simple questions, touch panel. It just crushes something. <laughs> <laughs> I think I went in the wrong one. <laughs> hmm. You take the blue pill, the story ends. You wake up in your bed with an erection. <laughs> um. <laughs> okay, what do? Yep, okay. You can take the red pill, and I'll show you how far the rabbit hole goes. Wait! <laughs> what are you talking about? Uh -huh. Cool, let's get this over with. No, she literally just said it. Thank you. First question, one day at school, you see that your good friend is uh, being led away by a group of scary people. You want to help your friend, but if you fight them alone and lose, you can easily get hurt. So look for a teacher, there'd be no danger to you, but if you don't succeed in time, your friend will most likely get hurt. What do you do? Get in there and start whooping some ass. <laughs> Clothesline Robert and just finish it out quickly. What? <laughs> yeah, like, cause like, if they already see you're already hurt, they'll probably stop hurting you. Oh. Eh? Right, right. Eh? No. Eh? No. 
<laughs> Just join in. If we were to fight, it comes down to it. Got it. Uh huh. Okay. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. I don't like pain. Go get help. Get out. Get out of the way. You look like hey. Baruki. Get out of here. Hey. Ah. Uh. Fucking damn it. I gotta talk to people around here. Yeah. Hey! Uh, I not decide yet. Hmm. Yes! Are these all decisions that Maruki made? I think so. Can I pick it yet? Hey! God! Damn it, Morgana, I hate you. <laughs> okay. Oh? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna choose to answer A, go in swinging. <laughs> Just get up with an ugly haymaker or a clothesline. <laughs> I'm on board. I've never seen. I've there's a there's a time at my school where I regretted not being there. Uh huh. Because apparently someone we knew got clotheslined by like a really <laughs> overweight cop. Uh huh. And I wanted to see that so much, and I was debating whether or not to see if I can get them to show the footage of it. Uh huh. And I just I really wanted to see it. Hey. <laughs> like, because apparently he made a run for it. Uh mm -hmm. And that cop just. Mm. Unloaded on him. Like apparently, like this, this person used to be like a wrestler or something. Because oh, man, oh, he did a full wrap around the arm and everything, like a Looney Tunes style. Yeah. <laughs> like his shoe flew off and everything. Like <laughs> <laughs> God, uh, damn it, dude. Well then. It happened during my during yep. my uh, lunch period too. So. When I was at home eating chicken, I missed someone getting clothesline. Where were you getting clothesline for me? No! Actually, I don't think right. anyone would actually clothesline you. I don't know. Except for like me. What do you want to do? I can tend to piss off quite a few people. To the point, they probably will clothesline me. Yeah, you're very ballsy in that chair. Yep. Can I have your shirt? Hmm. <laughs> no. Why not? You don't need it. Nah. I'll give you a mustache. I have a mustache. You have a dirt mustache. I have a regular mustache. You've seen it. Uh, so I don't know why. Because it's mask. Yeah, I've only seen you with your mask on. I'll draw one on my mask so you can see it. Yeah, but it's still it's still it's a pencil in mustache. It's fake. It's representative of what's actually there. All right then. It's quite how do we talk about mustaches? <laughs> <laughs> Something you clearly know nothing about. You have a personal dream that you really, really want to make come true. You're working so hard to achieve it, but it's not coming to fruition. It causes you a lot of grief, but if you were to give up now, all of your hard work would be enough for nothing. Which would you do in the situation? Give up the hard work, do whatever it takes, give up for a new dream. Personally, I would pick C. <laughs> I did. <laughs> Alright, let's go and talk to these people. You did it! Uh, which one are you choosing? Doesn't matter, choosing C. Huh? Yes. Dialogue already. Let's explain what it was all about. Bye. I'm actually looking forward to that boys uh, animated series that they have going on. Oh, the boys. The boys. Yeah. Very worried about that for a moment. Your phrasing there kind of worried me. 
Hmm. Well, I can't wait for to see the boys. Cause you didn't say the boys. You said the. Uh... No, I said the boys. You said I can't wait to see that boys, and then you pause for a second, and then it's an animated series. No, I said the boys. Hmm. It just sounds like I said that. Oh, okay. Run the footage back. I can. Run the footage back. I'm not going to. No. Hmm. <laughs> Subscribe to my channel. <laughs> <laughs> no. Fuck you. I'm subscribing <laughs> to nothing. You'll get nowhere in life putting LPs on YouTube. Oh. I mean, um, at this point, we're just doing it for fun. Yeah. Until either one of us gets like real depressed and just stops doing it, or the other one, one just expires. Yeah. You almost did. Uh, but no. I didn't. Good. So Don't. Face. Don't in my face. Yeah, I wouldn't want like you to still die. Stuck with me. <laughs> Thank you very much. Like, I've, I've always asked Robert, like, early on in the infancy of our relationship, I asked him how he would feel if I died. Um... And that answer has changed dramatically. No, it hasn't. Well, when I first asked you, you're like, oh, well, that sucks. Everyone's gotta go. Yeah. Yeah, however... Halfway through, you're like, I'd mourn you for a few weeks. Well, then. And then we said a few days. Yeah, a few days, and then now you're right. like, I would be very devastated and would mourn you, and I had to cling on to Blake, and hopefully nothing happens. To that them. was a joke answer. <laughs> I feel like that might have been an actual answer. No, that was a joke answer. I would never do that. Yeah, but at this point, Robert would have missed me. Like every so often, he'd probably think about me when he was good by horses. Not I really, because I don't hear that song often. I'll make sure you do. <laughs> I'll leave it in my will that every, uh, every, uh, the first of the month, that song gets sent to you. How? I don't know, whoever's alive and willing to fulfill that. <laughs> my sister, my brother-in-law. I take any government. steps necessary to avoid them. Oh, they'll come physically to come send you the song. I don't think they would do that. I'll have them play it for you. What do you Eventually they'll give up and not do it anymore, so. Exactly. But, you won't have to do it early for for long. Actually, I would have to send you a joke message from my phone saying, Please help, I'm still alive, someone come get me. Someone did that to me and it fucked me up for like a week. Oh, sorry. Damn it. <laughs> oh no, I picked the wrong answer. <sighs> oh. Okay. He's like, fuck this. Yeah! <laughs> Oh, look, it's the American Dragon, Jake Long. Shut up. I mean, that's how you originally looked. Really? Yeah. Like, he was just like, kind of like, he had the arms and legs and like, the wings. Ew. But in the, uh, and, like, the more rebound they changed the animation, he looked closer to the dragon you had. Like, he had the, like, he still had the arms and the legs, but he was more longer, like, in like, like in the other one, he looked a little more but he still kind of had like a humanoid look to him. Hmm, okay. Ass kind of thing. Yeah. And uh, I guess they were just trying to like, like, oh, he's kind of like, whatever. But like, apparently every like, every like region and every state has a dragon. Oh, okay. Like, there's even the one from Mexico, like the, the dragon of Mexico. Mm -hmm. He's like, He's like, uh, the food dog is like, alright, you gotta find the dragon from Mexico. He's like, he looks a little sick, and it's like a little Mexican kid with his wings hanging out. He's like, hola! And he just sneezes. <laughs> so, because that, that's why he's called the American Dragon, Jake Mom. Ah. Oh. He had the Japan Dragon. And he had the, you know, uh, the, uh, the, uh, like Eastern, or like the Asian, whatever, Russian Dragon, too. Austrian, Australian Dragon. That's cool. Like, he had beef with him, too. I thought like, he was called the American Dragon because he lives in America. I know, like, they had this whole entire, like, contest but, like, to see which dragon was better. Uh-huh. And, like, the one of the... I don't know where he was from, but he snaps his fingers and he changes into the dragon. Uh-huh. That he is, and then, like, during a little race they're having, hmm. like, oh, the black dragon is back. Oh, no. 
and the 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 the, the, the dragon is like, all right, yeah, he I won because he was fighting the black dragon, and they're like, wait, you sent you got a gigantic pussy? Oh God! <laughs> Not in those words, but right. His grandpa was the more traditional, like blue, white haired dragon. That's cool. That you would normally see. I can feel it. Uh, yeah. third question. You give them the power to the people's hearts. Lots of emotions, information. You can do all of it from anyone in the world. Not only that, you can use this power without fear of ever getting caught. This scenario, which sounds closest to what you would do. Steal something valuable, never steal anything. Steal my own heart to heal. Steal your heart to fix society. I feel like he would do D. What? D sounds like a Maruki. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay. We're all divided, son of a bitch. Uh, you all look so tense. Uh huh. All right. Uh, everyone wants to be happy, right? I know I do. Um. Uh, most money. So that means. Right. No one will find out. So like, there's no <sighs> ramifications. It Open does fire. say steal something valuable, not monetarily valuable, though. Yeah, but like, like you just hear, "Open fire, get her." <laughs> well, it's like that. Yeah, my mic again. Yes. Sorry. It's like that one, uh, the thing that comedy bit that I show you. Mhm. Mm and he's like, "Why? Why would you do this?" Oh, right, right, right. So valuable in the sense of something you can't replace. Yeah. Uh, hey, come here. I want to show you something. <laughs> Fucking wrong. Question. Uh huh. What's up, the weirdo with the bats in his hair jump rope and at that speed of light? What are you talking about? In that Rohan, whatever side mm. story thing they have going on. Oh! It's kind of hard to explain. Uh... Hey, does he have a stand or no one has stands? Kinda it's hard just... to explain. Hmm. Like, even if I watch it, I'll still have questions? Maybe. Yeah. You'll understand most of it. Hey! Oh my god! Well, that you was... see that lady? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I have something. Shall we begin? Okay. All right, what came first, the chicken or the okay. egg? We all show this because we're all types of birds. Let's review what we know. Mm. <laughs> yeah, you never have enough mic. You keep buying dumb shit. Uh, can we, uh, can we get, a, can we get like a chair for like <gasps> Ryuji? What are your thoughts? Okay, compose, man. Um. Uh. But I feel like the answer is like, well, I wouldn't do anything bad with it. Yeah, but you're not thoughts? doing anything good either. You're just yeah. What are your thoughts? Right. <laughs> is there anyone else to talk to? I don't know. It's up to you, Robert. I support your decision and whatever it is, as long as it's not the wrong one. Oh. Okay. <gasps> oh, <'cause>. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I choose to cheat, and I'm gonna skip all the shit. <laughs> Fuck you and your questions. Huh? 
I see. <laughs> we can't benefit from this by skipping the question. I didn't know this was an option. Really? Yeah, I actually just Show me your true force. Oh. I don't know what the outcome of this is. Like, I don't know if you can actually skip it or you go find a piece of intel and then go back to answer the question. I can't remember. Get the shit out of her! <laughs> yeah! Take that, you titty crystal! <laughs> Look at my charging crystals! <laughs> okay. Alright, let's see what the other thing Hey. Oh, I bet you have. <laughs> hmm. Okay. So it's not E. Obviously. Shut up. Trying to calculate shit. It's like it's like me going to steal your heart so you'd love me. Like I wouldn't do it. You'd be happy. I mean, it would make me happy, but it wouldn't make you happy. And your happiness is what I care about. I wouldn't be happy either way. Exactly. Do I look happy right now? I can't see you. Come on, man. But do yes, I sound I'm assuming. Right now? I'm assuming you have some cheeky, stupid smile for something dumb you said earlier. Not at the moment, no. Oh, really? Not the chop suit thing or like, or whatever he says in the system with the nuts. I forgot about that. Okay, so it's not C and it's not E, so it's obviously D. Possibly. Look at how big that fucking camera is. Hey, what are you guys doing up here? Are you gonna tell us? I'm a, I'm a camera, not an alarm. <laughs> it's B. It's not B. I don't know, I don't know dude. I don't, I don't know how it was even. Mm -hmm. I'm going to pick B. Mm -hmm. Sure. I don't remember what the answer for B was. <laughs> it's D. My what final answer. Okay, it's wrong. Probably is, but I don't care. Oh, thank goodness it's not wrong. <laughs> you think you're gonna listen to me? I wasn't too sure about this one. I always do get the second one wrong, though. And by always, I mean like the other one right. other time I've beaten this game. Yeah. Oh yeah, that reminds me. Here's this thing for for no reason. <laughs> Bye. There seems. What was that? <laughs> seems to be the treasure chest. Yeah, really. Right, you're already halfway through for going real? through it. Wow, I couldn't hear you. I'm going through this. <laughs> oh, okay, that's like the treatment. <laughs> Let's try it out. What? <laughs> ah, my atoms! <laughs> oh, they were just picking Wait, what Maruki would have picked, so. Alright, cool. Let's go find a safe room. Yep, yeah, we'll go ahead and call it there.
No. It's not gonna focus. Whoa. I see. But just moving past all the VR people. I told mostly how what VR headsets yeah. look like. Yeah. Just not as cool. This place looks safe. <laughs> yeah, this place looks pretty safe. Alright. Well then. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. I hope everyone's having a good day, staying safe Focus. and healthy. And we'll see you guys Let's do it. next mission. Bye. Bye bye. Focus. Don't forget to subscribe! <laughs>